please don't already have it please don't already have it hey guys welcome back i hope you're all doing well so today we're doing blind dates with books so i've got two books i ordered these off etsy i'll show you the place that i got it this is the place i got it from it's called the mysterious bookcase yeah i did already unpackage them because i really just wanted to see them for some reason when they came like a week ago the seller i chose she had loads of different options that you could choose from so so like you could pick between like the different genres you wanted i picked the book talk genre because i thought i kind of want to get some popular books that i haven't read yet but that i may have heard of also like in book talk there could be like romance fantasy literary fiction like anything so i thought that would be like maybe a f the most fun option this is what they look like so here's the first one they came with these really cute little chocolates and tea which is just adorable and they also came with like little bookmarks and then i have my other one here when i first opened these a week ago i literally just wanted to like look at the packaging just to see what it was like and obviously i saw that this one was like really thin and i thought like oh yes like a quick easy read also let me just say the seller had like a little um box that you could write all the books that you already had so that she wouldn't give you the same book you could also pick if you wanted the books to be brand new or if you wanted them to be second hand i chose second hand ones because they were cheaper and also because i thought if i did happen to get one i already have i don't really want to pay for it like a whole new one so yeah and i don't really mind having second hand books i was like oh that's cool like a small book <laughs> I don't know why. So I wrote all the books that I already had in the little box that she left. You could only do like 250 characters or something like that. So I was having to write like as many books as I could, but like in the shortest like way. And I still really didn't have enough space to write all the books that I had. I thought I got most of them. But then like over the last week, knowing that I've had this one, I'm like, oh my God, this could be We Were Liars because I didn't write that one on the list. And like, it's the only small book talk book that I can think of. And now I'm really feeling like I've just got We Were Liars again. But I'm just saying that now. I haven't obviously looked. I feel like it is very possible. Because of the like worry I have that I will have already had this one. I think I'm going to open this one first because then it's more of a surprise for the other one. Oh, it comes with this little postcard where they say thanks for supporting their small business. So definitely go and check it out. I will link it in the description. Okay. Also, just so you know, I'm going to open this one, then read it, and then we'll open the other one when I'm going to read the next one. I really hope this is not Weaver Lies, but like, I think it might be, just from the size of it. Guys, I knew it. Gonna be Weaver Liars. At least it's not the exact same colours. We've got shiny blue on. This one's actually really cute. Okay, I've already read this. It was a little while ago now. The options we have are I can either reread this and then give some like fresh thoughts and feelings on it. It did destroy me last time I read it. And I feel like it would do the same again to be honest, because this is a very emotional book. Or I know that there's a second a sequel to this one called Family of Lies or something like that. So I could read the second one. I don't have a physical copy, but I could get it on my Kindle. Yeah, so this book is the second book to this. Maybe I think it might be set before this or something. Yeah, it's a prequel. So I feel like I still remember it very well and like everything that happened. So I feel like I don't need to reread it. And also that wouldn't be as fun for you guys to watch because I want to give you something new for me to read. So not off to a good start, but fingers crossed the next one is one that i haven't read if it is honestly i don't know what i'm gonna do because this video is just gonna be pointless but i'll check in with you once i have some proper like thoughts and feelings about it change of scenery i'm in my sister's room right now um just thought i'd give you a little update i'm currently about 60 percent through family of liars i'm like really enjoying the writing style i've forgotten how like kind of poetic and, and like beautiful her writing was i feel like the main difference i'm finding between this one and we were liars is that um 
we will eyes you kind of like know that you're getting to this end point throughout the book and you're like kind of waiting to find out like what what is this event or what is this like thing gonna be that you find out and it's all kind of like unraveling whereas this one i feel like this one's not really got like i don't know it's just not really going anywhere but like not in a bad way you're just kind of reading along in this woman's life it's not got like this massive point to it but it's just like kind of just enjoy hearing about her life basically um, and her experience like growing up in this massively rich wealthy family that's another thing i'm really enjoying i feel like she does such an amazing job at describing what it's like to be in obviously i mean i don't know what it's like to be in like a crazy rich family but i feel like those traits of like the older generation what am i trying to say like coming from a family with quite high expectations of their children and how that kind of has an impact on them you know like the classic like older generation not like wanting to talk about emotions or like show weakness in any way and just like being loyal to the family and that's all that matters anyway that's what i'm trying to say is that she's doing a really amazing job giving us a look into what life it's like for someone who comes from that background if you're someone who likes reading books for like purely the plot this maybe isn't for you so yeah i'm really intrigued to see how this one's gonna end hey guys oh my god this is not the best time to start filming this because i am in such bad traffic right now why did i come out of this time i'm such an idiot come on come on let me out let me out Okay, this angle's actually not acceptable, is it? Right, I'm on my way to my local shopping centre. I woke up this morning and there's been there's this set that I've really been wanting for ages um, from M&S and I always keep checking online for it and they never have it in stock. So I checked like the in-store stockage and there was one in stock at my local M&S. I'm that type of person that like, if there's even the slightest chance that I can get this, I'm gonna fucking try, okay? So yeah, we're heading to the mall and I didn't read much last night because I just fell asleep, but whether I get disappointed because I don't find this set or I'm happy because I find it, I'm gonna just sit in a coffee shop at the mall and just read some more and hopefully get it finished. But the shop opened 15 minutes ago, so I'm like, Please, no one get it. If I want something, then I'm quite determined to get it. So I have to try, otherwise I'm gonna be annoyed at myself. I've not had very good luck recently with things like this, so I'm not gonna jinx it, but <sighs> I have low expectations, let's just say that. Right guys, I'm back from the mall now. It's been a good day today, I found the set. The last one in my size and then i finished off family of liars when i was there as well i just like got a little bite to eat and prep and just read there for a bit so yeah i finished family of liars the prequel to we were liars as i said in the last clip i was really enjoying this book and i was saying that like i wasn't i didn't really know where it was going but basically towards the end of this book there is actually a little twist as well it's obviously nothing compared to this but there is a little twist towards the end you basically just realize this is more of a story of like the good and bad in people and how everyone's a product of their environment and like the family they grow up in and how there's kind of like not really one bad person in this like everyone has the bad in them if you know what i mean like those that type of story kind of analyzes people's morals and why they are like that so it's a story more like around that so if you like that type of thing which i personally do love that type of thing i love a good i love a good like deeper meaning behind so this is really enjoyable for me however i i can see how it might not appeal to everyone really it liked this the ending was like it wasn't like a massive thing that happened but it was just like a it's so hard to describe books like this you did feel concluded and it kind of ends with like the only way you can escape from all your internal trauma and issues within yourself that you have is to be honest and like be open about it and you have to acknowledge those to then move on if you read the first book you'll know that that's kind of a theme as well you realize at the end that like you have to go through this like phase of kind of lying to yourself and then once you accept we will lies but once you accept that you've been like that you can then move on do you know what i'm saying i think it's sitting between like a four 4.5 for what it was because yeah it was just like the writing was just so i would describe this as like a piece of literature it's kind of more of a book that you really like take in and analyze moving on from that we have our next book 
to unpackage which I'm so excited for I really really hope that I don't have it and I haven't accidentally missed out anything on the list again please god let's pray because i just read more of like a deep kind of sad book i really hope i get something like fluffy and light because i'm just in the mood for that now okay can you see it why am I so scared? Okay. <gasps> this is such a popular book that I haven't read. Oh my God, wait, I'm so gassed I've got this. What the hell? Okay, we have Daisy Jones and the Six. So this is a very, very popular book that everyone bangs on about. And I know it's like a TV, is it a TV show or a movie now as well? So I've heard amazing things. So I'm very excited to read this. Well, I'll get started on this one and then I will let you know how it's going. days and I finished Daisy Jones and the Six. I'm sorry I didn't film an update. I honestly was just enjoying this so much I kind of forgot. This was literally such a quick easy read so it didn't take me long at all. Because I didn't update you I'll just give you a little rundown of the plot. I'm sure you know what this is about but this book is basically following this band called the Six and they're kind of like up and coming as a band they're getting kind of popular and around the same time Daisy Jones is also kind of climbing the ladder in the music industry but she's a solo artist and she's a little bit like difficult as a person it's just kind of like mold so she's a little bit resistant to like all these people who are trying to like make her big and like everything like that but anyway Daisy Jones and the Six obviously eventually get together and they start writing songs together and they're just getting really really popular um that's literally basically the whole book is just that story of them like kind of like on the rise the story of them like becoming one of the biggest bands of the 70s 80s it's done in a really interesting way because oh my god sorry i've got such an itchy back why do i keep it it's done in a really interesting way because it's all like in interview format so they're all the band members of like being interviewed from like when they're older and like looking back on the past and like telling their story and it's like oh it's just done I like I've never read a book that was done like that and I just found it so fun it just made it even more quick to read because it's like almost you're just reading like dialogue basically it was just so like clearly from that time like the way they spoke it was just so clearly from the 70s 80s like I, I don't know I feel like there's a really specific way that people from that time especially like music people I don't know like when you hear them speaking it's just so like kind of particular they say stuff just like straight up and like really simply they don't like dilly dally around anything like they just say it how it is another thing that I loved was that like you're getting like three main women's like point of view and then the rest are guys which is like seven eight like guys point of view throughout this book and it's just so funny, um, like the differences in the way that the men and women will like talk about the same situation because you're reading it so they're all encountering the same situation and you're hearing it all from their different point of views. A guy will say his experience of something and like how it was straight after you'll hear the woman's point of view and it's just like completely different like the way they saw that situation. So that was so funny as well. Oh, sorry, my camera just died. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, all the like characters had their own little personalities because you could really like differentiate between the people. Like, even if you didn't read their name who was speaking, like you just knew. And like Eddie's character was so funny as well because he was just like the most disagreeable out of all of them. He always had something opposing to say. And so that was just kind of a comedic part of it. Oh, I just loved Graham and Karen. Like I just loved them. I was rooting for them so hard. That's what this book really did well. It really just highlighted more like imperfect relationships rather than like these like fairy tale romances like it was just very real there's really important themes there was like alcoholism substance abuse women being expected to have kids absent fathers like there was just so many things that it explored but it was just done in like such like a fun light-hearted way and i can really see why everyone loves this book so much and it just like oh, just the vibes were just so good. I think it's a really good like summer book as well. I think like my mum would absolutely love this. And I did hear that it was like inspired by like Fleetwood Mac. I love Fleetwood Mac because my mum loves Fle Fleetwood Mac. Like as soon as I finished reading this, I was like, mum, you have to read this. Like I feel like mums of that like era would just absolutely love this book. So if you want to get your mum a present and get her this book, I'd probably give it four, 
5.5. Oh, I don't know. Is that like the two books I read, like they were so different. I can enjoy a book more. Like I enjoyed reading this more, but I still like felt like such a connection to the other one too. So but, yeah, sorry. I keep like swinging my hair around as well. I feel like um, Tashi from Challengers with my hair like this. Honestly, Zendaya looked so good in that movie. I didn't think I've ever seen her look that good, honestly. Like her and her little tennis outfits. Oh, I just loved it. If you haven't watched that movie yet, go and watch it out. And like, what the hell? That guy, that blonde guy in it, he was so fit. I never thought from like seeing posters of that that I would think that that guy was attractive, but like, he was so attractive. Anyway, going off topic. Yeah, that's the end of this video. I feel like I definitely will do this video again because it was so fun. And I was in a reading slump before this and this completely got me out of it because I just knew I had to do it. So thank you all so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.